Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to the power x, this is equal to 30, what is the value of x? Now, solution from here, we have 9 to the power x, this is equal to 30. To solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that we have log 9 to the power x, this is equal to log 30. You find that rog 9 to power x, this is in the form of rog 8 to power n, which we can express as n rog rog a. So applying this power rule property of logarithm, then rog 9 to power x becomes x rog 9. This is equal to rog 30. So let's divide both signs by rog 9. Also here we have rog Nine. So let's simplify rock 9 and rock 9 so that x will be equal to rock 30 divided by rock 9. Now from here we can express 30 as 6 times 5. So let's substitute this so that here we have x is equal to rock 6 times 5 divided by rock 9. So you find that rock 6 times 5, this is essentially in the form of rock a times b, which we can express as rock a plus rock b. So applying this logarithm property, then you find that x will be equal to rock 6 divided by rock 9 plus rock 5 divided by rock 9. The next step is that we can express 6 as 2 times 3, and we can express 9 as 3 to power 2. So this now essentially means that here we have rock 2 times 3 divided by rock 9, which is rock 3 power 2, then plus rock 5, divided by rock 3 to power 2. Now you find that rock 2 times 3, this is in the form of rock A plus B, and this A times B, which you can express as rock A plus rock B. So let's apply this property, so that now here we have x is equal to rock 2 divided by rock 3 to power 2, plus rock 3 divided by rock 3 to power 2 then plus rock 5 divided by rock 3 to power 2 so you find that rock 3 to power 2 this is actually in the form of rock 8 to power n which you can express as n rock a so let's apply this power rule property so that now we have x is equal to rock 2 divided by rock 3 to power 2, which is 2 rock 3. Plus, now here we'll have rock 3 divided by rock 3 to power 2, this is the same thing as 2 rock 3. Plus, now here we have rock 5 divided by rock 3 to power 2, which is 2 rock 3. Now, let's proceed from here. Now, let's simplify rock 3 and rock 3 here. So that x is equal to half plus, here we have half rock 2 divided by rock 3. Then plus, here we have half. Now, we have rock 5 divided by rock 3. Now, you find that rock 2 divided by rock 3 and rock 5 divided by rock 3, this is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. So, let's apply this logarithm property. So that now, here we have x is equal to half plus half rock 2 to base 3 plus a half rock 5 
to base that is to base 3. Now, since a half is common here, we can express x as a half into the parentheses 1 plus this is rock 2 to base 3, then plus rock 5 to base 3. Now, this is the value of x. Let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation. Now, let's verify here. Now, if you recall here, if you recall, we have that 9 to power x, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. So, let's substitute the value of x, so that now, here we have 9 raised to power, this is half, into the parentheses, 1 plus rock 2, 2 base 3, plus rock 5, 2 base 3, now, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, from here, we can express 9 as 3 to power 2. Let's substitute this so that here we have 3 to power 2 times half into the bracket here, 1 plus rock 2 to base 3, then plus rock 5 to base 3. Now, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, the next step is to simplify here. So, let's simplify these two and these two. So, that here we have 3 to power 1 plus rock 2 to base 3. Then plus rock 5 to base 3. Now, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, you find that 3 to power 1 plus rock 2 to base 3 plus rock 5 to base 3, this is in the form of a to power n plus m, which we can express as a to power n times a to power m. So applying this exponent property, then here we have 3 to power 1 times 3 to power rock 2 to base 3 multiplied by 3 to power rock 5 to base 3. Now this is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now the next step is that 3 raised to power rock 2 to base 3 and 3 raised to power rock 5 to base 3. This is in the form of m to power rock a to base m which essentially is supposed to give us a value of a. Applying this logarithm property then 3 to power rock 2 to base 3, this will give us a value of 2. And again here, 3 to power rog, 5 to base 3, this will give us a value of 5. So 3 raised to power rog, 2 to base 3, this is the same thing as 2. And 3 raised to power rog, 5 to base 3, this is the same thing as 5. So let's, this, let's substitute these two, so that we have 3 times 3 raised to power rog, 2 to base 3, which is 2, times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 3 times 2, this is 6. Then 6 times 5, this is actually equal to 30. And this is equal to 30. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is, which is a half, this is the value of x, which is a half, into the bracket 1 plus rock 2 to base 3 plus rock 5 to base 3 satisfies the equation. Now, numerically, th this actually is equal to 1.54795. Okay, so this is the value of x. So, kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.